Alright, so about a minute's elapsed, and you can see that the fish is starting to get a little flaky. Let's see the timer on the oven if you don't believe me. So, all that's meaning is that as I lightly put the spoon onto the fish, it'll start breaking up like that. And that's what I wanted to do. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the olives. If you didn't know what just happened, the lanyard got caught on the uh, thing for the silverware drawer, but I caught the camera. So I'm going to throw about seven or eight of them in here. And as they cook, I'll use a spoon to break them up too. So you can see the fish is getting nice and cooked all the way through. You see the brown, the outside of the fish is starting to get a little brown, nice and covered with that oil. And that's really what we're looking for is a little browning on the outside for some flavor. Break the fish up so it's nice and flaky. Try to get these olives into uh, little smaller pieces. It's actually a lot harder when you're holding a camera. And then let it cook for a little bit longer. So right now we're at the point where all the fish is pretty much broken up and flaky. It's pretty much cooked all the way through. Um, I don't want to leave it in here for too much longer for fear of it overcooking. So so I'm going to add the spices in. I don't know really how much I'm going to put in. Just a couple shakes. First the oregano, then the parsley. Not a big deal if they're still in big chunks, but whatever. Take it off the heat. Throw it on a plate. And uh, that's lunch. So all total, by about five, six minutes.